What's going on you guys and welcome back to Living Fit with Gabby and Chris. I'm Gabby. Obviously Christian is not going to be in this video as this topic does not really pertain to him. Um, so if you've come from my Instagram then you know a few months back I had posted this story right here. And this was um, when, this was basically the day that I put down and I paid to get my boob job. Now, let me address this first. If you are not here for plastic surgery or you have plastic surgery and you think that I'm hating on you, I am not. I'm just explaining why I chose not to go through with my breast augmentation. So, if you have nothing nice to say, just don't say it at all. Click out of this video unsubscribe do you boo um but this is so, for the sole purpose of educating and letting people know why i chose not to go through with it so moving on now that we got that out of the way this photo was posted the day that i paid in cash full for my breast augmentation um that was scheduled for august 19th now i was super excited I wanted to get it done. I wanted to get it done for me. If you're new to my channel, then um, let me give you a little background. I was 170 pounds and I lost about 50 pounds um, and put on muscle, a lot of it. And in that process of losing weight, you obviously you're losing fat and your breast tissue is made up of adipose tissue, which is also known as fat, uh, fat tissue. So when you lose weight, if you're doing it naturally, you're going to lose weight from all over your body. So I'm going to throw up a picture right here of before I lost weight and what my boobs looked like and now after I lost weight. So as you could tell, there is a big difference. Um, and it wasn't something that I was necessarily insecure about. It was just something that I wasn't used to and I missed my boobs. Like it was a part of me, you know, feeling feminine and feeling, you know, like a woman and they're not there anymore <laughs> and now here's my thing I'm not against plastic surgery obviously and I'm not completely for plastic surgery I think that it's a hundred percent not necessary but if it makes you happy then absolutely go for it um, my kind of reasoning with wanting to get a breast augmentation in the first place was that I lost my breasts because I did something that was good for me. Now, with that being said, me continuing to go to the gym is not going to grow my boobs back. Like, it will grow your glutes, you know? Like, you can go to the gym and get a bigger butt. You don't have to get plastic surgery for that. That's kind of where, I guess, the gray line is for me, where I'm not against it, but I don't think it's necessary because in cases like that, you can go to the gym and earn it the natural way, and I'm all for that, as you guys know. But boobs is not something that you can gain in the gym. Sure, you can get, you know, like pec muscles, but I didn't want to have like pec muscles. Like I wanted to have boobs, you know, like feminine boobs. Um, so that was why, that was my main reason of why I wanted to get a breast augmentation. Now, I did film and vlog like the whole process of me going to the consultation, visiting the doctor, asking him questions and all of that obviously I haven't uploaded it because I didn't know if I was gonna go through with the surgery and obviously now I'm not but I can still upload it for you guys because I still do have that footage and it might help some of you kind of know what questions to ask so if you do want um, that video to be posted just drop a comment down below and I'll upload it for you guys um, but basically you know, I was confident in my surgeon of choice. I I felt good about it. And then once I put that money down, I kind of started thinking, first of all, my family was totally against it. Totally, absolutely against it. Um, which kind of upset me because you need that support when you're going to go through with a surgery like that. And they just, they were not there for it. And I think that, you know, I value family very highly. And I think that that kind of did eat up eat away at me um but that's not what made me switch and change my mind what made me change my mind mainly was the fact that i was going to be putting a foreign object inside my body 
that is not meant to be there. It's, it, it's a foreign object going inside my body that is not meant to be there. And then I would pay, I'm just going to tell you guys what my quote was for my surgery. It was about um, $7,000. $7,000 and like 250 7250 something like that. I was going to be paying, um, like I said, $7,250, give or take a little. And that was for you getting them put in the first time. And then, God forbid, there's some sort of complication. You would have to obviously get them taken out. And that's like another $8,000. And then I did ask my surgeon... In the rare case, God forbid, something were to happen where I would have a complication, would my natural breasts remain safe? And he was like, well, you're putting something in your body that's not supposed to be there, and it's going to stretch that area out. It's not going to be the exact same, but it's not going to, you know, make a huge difference. Because I wasn't going that big in my implant size. My, I think I agreed on my implant size was 260cc. I was literally not going big at all. I was being very conservative with my size. I didn't want to look like, you know, I didn't want to have double D's. I just wanted to have, you know, a natural, like, bust. Um, so he did say, you know, you might need a breast lift if you decide to get them taken out for whatever reason one day. And I was like, man, you know, that's a whole, that's like another, you know, twelve, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 depending on who you go to and how severe your case is. And I was just like, do I really want to put something foreign in my body and pay that much money and then every like 10 years you have to get them replaced so that's another 7,000 and then if there was a complication you'd have to you know pay for the reconstructive surgery which is like more than 7,000 it was just I was just like you know is it really gonna make that big of a difference to me is it really gonna change my life that much and I was like no no it's not um I I didn't think it was a necessity and I kind of just had to come to my senses about it over time. I also saw um, an influencer's Instagram story. I'm not going to put her name out there, but she was talking about because she had just got her breasts done. And she was like, you know, getting your breasts done is not all what it seems to be because for me at least, I'm actually really insecure about them now because, you know, they're fake and I, I'm always constantly worried about like, oh, can people notice if they're fake? Like, do they look too big or are they, you know, you know, she's like, it makes me insecure because it's not me. And I was like, damn, like, I feel like that's something that I would feel too. I do have a lot of like anxiety and that kind of thing. And I feel like I would constantly like question, you know, like, oh, do they look fake? Are they rippling? You know, like all that kind of stuff. And I just, I was like, if I'm not 100% sure about this, why put myself through that? That is a major, major surgery, you know? Um, the other thing that um, kind of really stuck with me, and I, I'm not going to say changed my mind, but it did kind of, you know, make me think. And I'm trying to pull it up for you guys. It's on my phone. Hold on. Crap, okay, well, I can't find it, but it was an article about the psychological effects of getting a breast augmentation, and it was something along the lines, if I can find it, I'll throw it up on the screen for you guys right here, but it was something along the lines of, like, um, society and <clears throat> is, to people, is it easier to just say that you're, that you want to get a breast augmentation because like for yourself rather than admitting that there's pressure from society and that kind of stuck with me because um if you don't know in the fitness world especially in the competing world any girl that goes on stage that has boobs has implants and i'll throw up pictures right here of girls that go on stage to compete and this is not hating on them at all this is just i'm trying to prove a point to you guys right now so all these girls that go on stage are at a, a percentage of body fat where they have like zero zero body fat left on them they're at like 10 percent body fat to compete right and like i said your breast tissue is made up of fat tissue which is also known as adipose tissue 
So for them to have boobs, they have to have implants. There's no physiological way for you to be that lean and have breast tissue. So um, I was kind of, it kind of stuck with me because I was like, wow, I'm getting, I'm getting ready to go into like um, competition. Is there that um, pressure from society? And am I afraid or is it harder for me to admit to myself that it's that rather than me actually wanting it? So just bottom line, I wasn't ready to make that decision even though I had put my money down for it. I paid for it in full. Um, and I was like, if I'm not sure about this, I am absolutely not gonna go through with it. I'm not gonna rush it. Let, let me wait a few more years and see if it's something that I wanna revisit in the future. But as of right now, you know, Victoria's Secret push-up bras <laughs> is where it's at. I'll rock the the itty bitty titty committee for life. I don't know. It's just I just had like this gut feeling of unsureness, and then there's the whole thing with breast plant illness, which I did my research on, and I was confident with my doctor with what he said. Um. And everything about that, um, that, to be honest, didn't really scare me. What, like I said, what bothered me was that I was going to be putting a foreign object inside my body and God forbid something happened, I would have to pay double what I, what I paid to, to put it in, to take it out when I could have just saved all that money had I not put it in in the first place. That's what bothered me and that's why I just, I couldn't. I couldn't go through with it so my surgeon was so kind enough to understand that and I called the office I asked for my money back they gave it to me in full they sent me a check in the mail um, and that's how you know when you pick the right surgeon when they're not money hungry and they're not like well you already signed a waiver like you know it's a done deal if you're ready to get a breast augmentation and you're looking for a doctor I'm gonna throw um, my doctors in well what, who is going to be my surgeon's information down below because he is a really awesome surgeon he cares about his patients when I went in for the consultation I was there for an hour and I was able to ask him whatever I wanted and what I really liked about him was that when I went in there and I asked him about breast plant illness he actually just sat there with me for 30 minutes and pulled up articles on breast plant illness and explained everything to me in a simple way that I could understand and didn't like try to steer me one way or the other he kind of let me take it for what I wanted to take it as um but yeah it was just something that I personally was not comfortable with I wasn't ready with and I had to stick to my gut feeling and not I don't know if it was that society pressure, maybe a little bit. I didn't want to let that pressure get to me and force me into something that I wasn't completely ready for. Um, and although, like I said, I was excited about it, it's just, I'm not 100% there and I'm not going to put myself through something that could potentially end up worse than what I started with just for a look. Um, so. That is why I decided not to go through with my breast augmentation. Like I said, it's not something that I'm I'm just saying like never, maybe in the future, but as of right now, it's a no for me. Um, my surgery is already canceled, I already have my money back, so that chapter is closed. If you guys have any questions about, you know, breast implants and the augmentation and the whole process, I did my research, I went through all the, you know, all the things that I needed to do so I'm pretty knowledgeable on it so I can answer those questions if you have any just drop them down below um, in the comment section I'll answer them to the my to the best of my ability obviously if I don't know an answer I'm not gonna you know front I'll let you know be like hey girl I don't know the answer to that one um, but I do have some great resources that I went to to try to educate myself as well as my surgeon um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this gave you a better understanding of why I chose not to do the surgery. And if you're looking into it, just make sure you do your research. Make sure you're 100, 100, 100% ready to do it. Don't let anyone force you into doing it because if you're not 100% ready, 
you may not be happy with the result when you get it. So I hope that helped you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, you guys.